A couple felt sad and empty after their cat died. Then they saw him online and everything changed. Boston, Massachusetts woman Christiana Viscucci and her husband, otherwise known as Cat Dad, were heartbroken when they lost their fuzzy feline friend Sophie in mid-2017. However, the empty space in their hearts and home after Sophie passed was happily soon filled. It all began two months later when Viscucci came across her deceased pet's doppelganger while surfing online. Sophie was originally a rescue pet who was saved from an appalling situation where piles of animals in cages were being hoarded together. The three-year-old cat was rescued from her plight and then sheltered by the Animal Rescue League of Boston. It wasn't long before Sophie found her forever home nearby with 40-year-old web designer Viscucci and Cat Dad. The adorable ball of feline fluff made herself perfectly at home with her new adopted family pretty quickly. Sophie soon decided on her favorite spot to sleep on top of the dresser in mummy and daddy's room Viscucci noted this and bought Sophie her very own miniature bed complete with bed sheets and placed it atop the dresser While Sophie loved being tucked comfortably in her bed at night. She also enjoyed the great outdoors in May 2017 Viscucci told animal interest website the dodo when I get home from work She's waiting at the door and circling me to go outside We have a routine where we go outside for at least an hour when I get home because I know she's anxiously been waiting around all day It turned out that Sophie wasn't just a hit with her new parents, but also a neighbor's cat Scotty The male moggy began just watching Sophie but soon got braver and started following her whenever they were outside together Scotty's owners thought it was odd since their cat was often standoffish with other felines yet his relationship with Sophie appeared very close However, one possible explanation presented itself when Viscucci chatted to her neighbors and found out the cats had something in common They discovered that both Moggies had been rescued from animal hoarders Viscucci told the dodo it's very possible They were rescued at the same place and each put in different shelters, but I don't really know it just makes you wonder Sophie and Scotty soon became loving friends Viscucci said every time we're outside He runs right over to hang out in the summer. It's several times a week if he sees us on our balcony from his lawn, he'll come over and cries up at us then goes and sits at our back door waiting for us to bring her out. It's really cute Christina developed a new interest when she became a self-styled catstagrammer She set up an Instagram account dedicated to her pet called Sophie loves tuna to show off her lovable furball to the world Over time the page depicted the highlights of Sophie's adventures with her owner and best pal Scotty the adorable pictures showed Sophie tucked up in her little bed posing in knitted hats taking walks in her harness and meeting up with Scotty Unfortunately, the Instagram posts were to take a sad turn in late May of 2017 Sophie became ill went off her food and began vomiting a white foamy liquid as a result Sophie was rushed straight to Boston's Angel Animal Medical Center by her very worried parents Viscucci updated Sophie's Instagram followers to let them know of the stricken cat's progress Firstly Sophie would be undergoing emergency surgery the operation would hopefully remove a foreign object that's found in her small intestine The procedure reportedly went well, but sadly fluid in Sophie's lungs resulted in aspiration pneumonia The desperately ill cat was consequently placed in an oxygen chamber and treated with strong antibiotics Sophie was monitored closely, but she did not appear to be responding to the drug treatment in the way that vets had hoped Viscucci was told that if there was no improvement in 24 hours Sophie's case would be considered critical But she showed some improvement with the ventilation to help her breathe But it was when angel vets attempted to withdraw the sick cat from the apparatus that it became too much Regrettably Sophie passed away Viscucci broke the news to her Instagram followers. I wish this wasn't real I don't want to tell the world she's gone. I'm heartbroken Viscucci wanted to thank everyone who had supported her through the pain and those who had made donations to help with vet bills On June 2nd 2017 she wrote there are no words for the sadness It brings me to tell all of you my little angel gained her wings tonight Everything I did included her and I'm crushed. She's off on a new adventure without me I cannot begin to thank each and every one of you for the kindness generosity and support you've all shown what an amazing community this is She also thanked the veterinary medical center that cared for Sophie through her illness Viscucci stated on Sophie loves tuna 
Thank you to the amazing team at Massachusetts Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Angel that did everything they could, providing the best round-the-clock care. Sophie's Instagram page showed that despite her passing, her feline friend Scotty still visited to get consoling belly rubs from Cat Dad. Fans were upset to think of the feline missing his friend. One wrote, Seeing Scotty without Sophie by his side is so sad and heartbreaking. And Scotty was not the only one distraught by the sudden loss of Sophie. Viscucci and partner both felt the emptiness in their home without that lovely little character that had filled their hearts. So the appearance of Louie came as a perfectly timed surprise. Viscucci was overjoyed when she spotted him on an online pet finder adoption service. She described him as Sophie's brother from another mother. She explained to feline aficionado website Love Meow, I knew right away that I had to inquire about him. I saw that he was at a shelter an hour away, so I took a chance and emailed them to see if he was still there. Sure enough, he was, and we drove down the next day to meet him. The couple journeyed along the road to the Pat Brody Shelter for Cats in Lunenburg, Massachusetts, and couldn't wait to meet Louie. Viscucci said, as soon as we walked in, we saw him lounging on a table by a window, and Cat Dad scooped him right up. He was so big and fluffy and with his bright amber eyes looking right at us, we instantly loved him. Viscucci told Love Meow that it seemed like three-year-old Louie seemed to understand that he was destined to fill the void left by Sophie. The male Moggy snuggled up to the couple straight away, purring happily. That very day, Viscucci and Cat Dad took their new cuddly Persian and Turkish Van Mix cat back home to Boston. Louie settled into his new home readily, and it wasn't long before Instagram users who had been kept abreast of developments by Viscucci, were asking a burning question. When would the new guy get to meet the neighbors? One Sophie Loves Tuna follower said, Poor little Scotty, I hope he finds a new best friend in Louie. Rest in peace, sweet Sophie. However, due to Viscucci's landlord putting in new grass and resurfacing the drive, outdoor adventures were strictly out of bounds. Sadly, this meant Louie couldn't meet Scotty right away. For now, Louie's proving to be far from camera shy and is perfectly happy to pose indoors. Whether he's sprawled out on the floor like a melted ball of fur or play biting his mum, the pictures capture it all. The Sophie Loves Tuna Instagram account is still up and running, but now populated with cute pictures of the lovely Louie and updates on his life. Sophie may be gone, but she's certainly not forgotten. Viscucci still uses the page to remind followers of her adventures with the kitty and memorialize Louie's predecessor.